Who is Dennis Will? A few days ago, I was asked to make a video for Dennis. Now, I've made many of these memorial type videos, show old photos, play the music they enjoyed, but I thought, no, Dennis deserves more than that. So I asked myself, who was he? We all know Dennis the chef, not a cook, but a chef. A chef with distinction, a man with excellent manners, a distinguished accent, and an air of affluence about him. Now at one time, Dennis had it all. The exclusive job as head chef at a top South African resort, preparing meals for the rich and famous. Then everything changed for this man. With the political climate of South Africa, he left his own country fearing for his life. Everything left behind, he started new in the United States. Now, Dennis has told me of his former life, and he said that I would not have liked him much in those days. He was a man centered on himself. But something changed. Dennis met Jesus. The Dennis I knew was a man who was always volunteering to help, help in the church, and to help others. I first started seeing him at Alpha classes, running the kitchen. And whenever he was in the kitchen, it was his kitchen. Never satisfied with the standard fare of meat and potatoes, food was always the hallmark of excellence. We would expect chicken. Dennis delivered Cornish game hens. We would expect hamburgers. Dennis would deliver filet mignon. Of course, we knew what he could cook. But the truly amazing thing is how he lived. When Dennis would prepare food for a church outreach, he would always seem to make a little too much. Well, I found out why. In his small apartment that he lived in, there were several families that lived above him who were quite poor. Dennis would feed them. On Christmas Eve, Dennis was the person who prepared me a special Chateaubriand for my family for Christmas Day. At the park on Sundays, it was Dennis who was serving homeless people a meal. Think about that for a minute. A world-class chef who would take his time to serve the least of these. Dennis was always a positive man, even when circumstances would have made the rest of us give up. When he met Christy, I saw an even happier guy. Their wedding day taught me even more about him. You, you'd think that he would be thinking about himself and his new wife. I saw a man making sure everyone else was paid attention to. Thank you so much. Thank you. No matter who the guest was, he made them feel special. Yeah. Now this is Bebop. Murabwanji, Bebop. And as usual, Dennis always had his dry sense of humor. I think it's final. <laughs> oh, I thanks. Think it's that final. sounds great. I think it's, it's great. I think it's great. It's something I've been waiting for. <laughs> And it's something I never expected to happen. And it's something that I thank God that it did happen. And I thank God for Christy. As long as she can toe the line, she's okay. She's, <laughs> got, her, she's got her duties. My duties are to do the lawn and the garden. And the we, cooking. And, no. Yes. And we yes. have nearly... Oh, and the cooking. Mm -hmm. So we're going to eat out quite a bit. <laughs> I asked this question among friends. What do you think Dennis is doing right now? The reply was, he's cooking, of course. Right now, he's preparing the wedding feast of the lamb, where one day we will dine and once again taste the excellence of Dennis Will. <laughs>